Constantinos, you can outline your course, right? You can create like a step-by-step -step breakdown of your, of your whole course from what to do from day one to day 30. All the different modules in between, all the different steps and tips and tricks in between that you would teach in your course. Then go live and just teach one of those little nuggets in your live. And then once it's done being live, it's gone. You choose to save it if you want, but you don't need to. But at least you've gotten practice teaching that element of your course. You've given really good value to people. It's such good value that's something you charge for. It's in your freaking course. And you're actually excited to talk about it because it's it's what you're it's like on the leading edge of, of what you want to share. So if you want really good ideas for your IG lives, just teach what you would put in your course. And if people are gonna really love that because I mean, well, this is really good shit. If he gives this away for free, imagine what's in his course. Yeah, you can do you can do FAQs, frequently asked questions, but what I find even better than FAQs, man, this is this is like this is next level shit. Is okay, so FAQs are like what they think they want to know. Right? The FAQs is like they ask, they ask a question and then you answer it. But oftentimes people ask questions that they don't need to be asking. They're asking the wrong oftentimes people ask the wrong questions. Right? It's like when someone comes to you and says, Constantinos, I'm, I'm so worried about a, a vegan diet. Like, what are the best sources of, of vitamin C? And you're like, you don't need to ask me where you get your vitamin C from. Just eat fruits and vegetables and you're going to be good. You don't need to ask that. You don't need to worry about that. It's a, it's a silly concern. And so instead of doing Q&A &A and, and just, you know, FAQs, what you can do is come up with a list of people's objections, people's, people's reasons for not signing up for your program or people's reasons for not wanting to eat a vegan diet or people's reasons, people's excuses really. Come up with, with a list of people's excuses and then make videos that get them to think differently. Make videos that get them to think the way that you need them to think in order for them to sign up for your program. So if you need people to think, for example, that binge eating is something that they can easily overcome, if as long as they have like a right plan of action, then teach that. Be like, hey, like with the right plan of action, binge eating is actually pretty, like it's very common for people to overcome it if they just have a plan of action. And so you get people to think the way that they need to be thinking instead of just answering questions like random questions. And this way you're like training them to think properly so that by the time they get on a call with you, you're not having to address silly concerns. You're not having to address the concern of like, Oh, but like if I do the vegan diet, like, am I really going to get all my vitamin C? Like, well, obviously you're going to get vitamin C because in this video that they just watched before they go on the call with you, it says how to get all of your nutrients on a plant-based diet. And the reason you made that video called how to get all your nutrients on a plant-based diet is because everyone's getting on the call with you and saying, hey, I'm not sure if I can get all my nutrients. So you just make a freaking video addressing it, teaching them how to think properly, but you, you like disguise it in a, in a, in a, like, in a, like a how-to type of video. So the video is not called like how to think. So you buy from me, <laughs> the video is called like how to get all your nutrients or how to make sure you succeed with never binging again, or how to, how to lose, you know, 15 pounds in 30 days or how I lost 15 pounds in 30 days. And then it's titled that. So they come in because that's what they want to learn how to do. But in the video, it's like mindset. You're just teaching them how to actually think. And that will benefit them far more than you telling them where to get their vitamin C, something that they can easily Google, you know, teaching them shit that they can't Google. That's valuable. That's valuable. Teaching them shit. They can't Google. That's some good shit right there. That is some good shit. If they can Google it, not even, probably not even worth your time answering it, bro. You want to give answers and teach them shit that 
they can't find on Google. That's where the, that's where the real value is. And that's why people sign up for, for programs. Cause like, well, if I could Google it, then I just Google it. I'm signing up for your program because I want the shit that I can't Google. So give it to them on social media for free. 